is me. So right now, I think mostly she wants to curl up and go to sleep right now, but right around there is where she usually likes being scratched on her back. Um, sometimes you'll notice if you're scratching her down her back and then you get to that spot, she'll uh, her butt will just kind of bump up um, for you to scratch it. Um, but, uh, but anyway, she likes being scratched there. Um, also, if she, I think like I said before, if she's voluntarily like rubbing her face on you, um, you know, some part of you, your knee, your leg, your hand, whatever, um, then she wants you to pet her. Sometimes she'll even, I don't know if she's going to do it right now, no, not so much, but sometimes if you're just sitting there and not paying attention to her and she wants you to pet her, she'll like jump up and do this dolphin-like thing to basically rub her head on whatever body part of yours is sticking out like a foot or a knee or something. Um, what else is there? She, um, oh, when she does, well, she's not doing it right now, which probably means she doesn't really want me to pet her anymore. Um, but when she, um, when she rubs her, her face, like the part where her whiskers come out, um, on you or on something, um, that part of her secretes, uh, pheromone that cats use to, you know, mark stuff as theirs, um, basically. And, um, and so that's usually a good thing. Like, you know, if she's rubbing her face on you, she's marking you as hers because she likes you. Um, and dogs don't really respond to the pheromones, so that won't, um, you know, that won't be, if you had, like, multiple cats, then I think that would be, like, a territorial thing, but not so much with dogs. Um, and then, additionally, there are a couple of products that, um, mimic that pheromone. Um, one being this diffuser right here that's plugged into the wall. Um, it's called Fell Away, and you can get it online for a lot cheaper than in the pet store. Um, and it's good to have if, like, they're in a period of transition and they need to be calmed a little bit. Um, and additionally, this collar, this purple collar that's on her right now, um, also secretes, um, an imitation of that pheromone. And then beyond that, there's also a spray, um, also by Fellaway. I think the collar was, the collar is by Sentry, or at least this particular one is. Um, and then there's a spray by Fellaway um, that you can use for basically the same effect. Um, so the idea is, um, oops, Fellaway was originally um, originally created um, as a way to stop cats who were spraying in like places other than their litter box from doing that territorially. Um, and then they discovered along the way that actually um, the, the cat pheromone imitation um, also can calm cats and so um, beyond the spraying which Cicely has never had an issue with um, they um, if you if you have a pheromone a cat pheromone diffuser um, then that can kind of help calm them um, and make them feel better because basically it kind of I don't know it tells them I guess that this place is theirs they've kind of already makes them think that they've already marked it I guess um, and then the idea behind the spray is kind of the same thing. Um, if you know that you're going to have to take her to the vet or something later that day and you know she doesn't like going into her carrier, then you can spray her carrier with Fell Away a little while before um, you actually take her to the vet. Um, or if you have like a new object that you want her to like and use. Um, like for instance, when I got her cat bed, um, I inherited that from someone else who had had a cat um, and um, and generally speaking cats don't use other cats stuff I don't know that she ever really learned that but um, nonetheless if you're trying to get them to adopt something then if you spray this fell away spray um, at like about their head level um, so basically at about the level that they would be you know rubbing their face on it to mark it um, then it can kind of help to make them adopt whatever it is and and think that they've already marked it as theirs. Um, and then the collar is kind of the same idea. I guess not so much marking stuff as theirs as just, you know, calming them. Um, so, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it for that.